Hey guys, I'm here today with an Emperor Scorpion. That's this little critter here walking up my arm. This is actually one of the largest species of scorpion in the world. Really, Frank? Really? You done? So this is one of the biggest scorpion species in the world. Not exactly the biggest, but... This is one of the biggest scorpion species in the world. Uh, they're found in Africa usually in jungle areas, very humid and wet areas of Africa. Oftentimes they will burrow down up to about six feet in termite mounds to be able to find prey, uh, and termites make up the majority of their diets. They've also been known to eat other insects and small mammals such as mice and even some birds. The emperor scorpion doesn't usually inject its prey with venom. They'll use those giant pinchers there to tear apart their prey before they eat it. Sometimes they can use their venom to inject and liquefy the insides of their prey so they can just drink it right out of them. Can you see the little hairs on the edge of his pinchers there? Those are actually used for sensing vibrations in the air to be able to find prey and hunt them down. So while these guys don't really use their stinger for hunting, what they will use it for is counterbalance. He was walking to the edge of my hand there and had to wiggle his tail back and forth to try and gain his balance, just like if we wave our arms to the side if we're feeling off balance. And they are arachnids. As you can see, it has eight legs on either side, and plus the two pinchers. This individual is also roughly 10 years old. Uh, scorpions can live a lot longer than people think. The average lifespan for these guys is six to eight years old. So this guy's doing very well. Dude, stay on the hand. So just like a lot of other species, uh, emperor scorpions do have predators. Uh, they do hunt animals, but they themselves are hunted by other animals. Some animals that eat emperor scorpions are birds, different kinds of rodents, uh, and things like that. So they are kind of on the lookout from their own predators. Uh, and now they have these very hard external skeletons here, and that helps protect them, as well as their pinchers and their venom. Some threats that these guys face in the wild are actually from humans. Because they're such a popular pet species, that has led to them being over-collected in the wild, which has harmed their population numbers, actually. So I'm not that worried holding this emperor scorpion right now, because it is a very large scorpion, and the general rule of thumb with scorpions is the smaller the scorpion, the more serious the sting. So a big one like this, if it stung me, it would definitely hurt but I wouldn't necessarily need medical attention. But this emperor scorpion does still have the venom gland here at the top of its tail and the stinger. The stinger has not been removed. Don't pinch me. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to tune in next week for my next episode. Say goodbye.